Hey, uh, welcome to a Monday, everyone. Manufacturing Monday. Ever wonder where these uh, small parts come that are in your computer, transistor radios, small electronics? A lot of them made here in Spokane. Lentron, Manufacturing Monday. Good morning, Northwest. Live from the KXLY4 HD Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane, you're waking up with Good Morning Northwest HD. Good morning, Northwest. Hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for waking up with us on this Monday morning. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And I'm Nadine Woodward. Let's check in with Mark Peterson on this Monday. He is back from a big event over the weekend, your 30-year high school reunion. Mark, how was it? Uh, it was wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. First of all, there were a couple of guys there that had beautiful heads of hair. And, and when I showed up, I had joy because we looked a lot alike. And I felt very good about that. <laughs> Um, we had a great time, and uh, 600 miles we traveled yesterday coming home and uh, listened to Scooby-Doo for five hours. And if a highway patrolman would have pulled me over and said, why are you going so fast, it was to stop that Scooby-Doo noise in my ear. I'm just saying. All right, let's get to uh, what's happening in our weather. Throughout Manufacturing Monday, we've shown you a lot of machines that uh, form and mold and shape metal. CNC machines that are huge, some of the biggest in the world. Well, now we're going to talk about... Um, multiples of that little puppy and, and of course all sorts of other bolts and screws and things that go into computers and small electronics. We're at Lintron. We're in the West Plains off uh, Medical Lake uh, exit. We're going to talk more about how they do this and all the different machinery it takes. Wait till you see what's on the other side of this building. That's coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. We'll deal with this here in moments. All right, looking forward to all that. Thanks, Mark. All right, guys, coming up, this machine is turning those out. Uh, one at a time, but it could do a million of them if they need it. It's Manufacturing Monday at Lintron in the West Plains. We'll have that in your forecast coming up. Well, let's check in with Mark Peterson on this Manufacturing Monday. Expecting a nice day today. Things definitely dry. Yeah, they are, and, and there's no doubt that there is concern that it, if something were to happen, I mean, we could see some major fires. I mean, everything is tinder dry. Now, let's get to the weather. We're in Lintron in the West Plains, and and they make a lot of little stuff here. And Dominic joins us, Vice President. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. So I want to show everyone, if you want to go here and take a look, these are the plans. Here's the outer, and then you see the inner, and this is that part. And you make smaller than that. Yes, we make smaller than that, down to one-eighth diameter, uh, all the way up to inch and a quarter diameter, with a lot of, a lot of differences in machines that we have uh, diversify to keep us more competitive in the business we're in. And so this, this goes into computers and electronics all over the world, and, and that's, that's extremely cool that this is done in our area. How many employees does Lintron have? Uh, we employ currently 80 people right now. Okay, you guys staying pretty busy? Uh, very busy right now, better than, uh, better than we were, you know, two years ago anyway. So we're starting to see the uptick, things starting to kick in a little bit. Um, this is, we've seen CNC machines on Manufacturing Monday that are, you know, 10 feet high and 12 feet wide. And this one just puts out little part after little part, and it, it can do this 24 hours a day. Correct. This is a 10, the machine you're on right now, an SR10 is a uh, 10 millimeter capacity machine. And we have others that are 16 millimeter, 20 millimeter, and 32 millimeter capacity just in this department alone. Okay, now I want to come in and... Um, down here is where the day's catch is, and that's how small a parts we're talking about. You're using a kitchen strainer so that then you can go test tolerances. They all get um, sterilized, cleaned. The oil is then recaptured and reused again in the process of this. We're going to have more on Manufacturing Monday. We're at Lintron, and um, i got to tell you, that's, that's a lot of little parts. But that's a very cool machine. Wait till you see what's in the other room. Again, that's coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. All right. All right, looking okay. forward to that. Thanks, Mark. Machines that manufacture screws you need to hold with tweezers. Uh, that or you can go with the big dogs. We're talking Lintron Manufacturing Monday on Good Morning Northwest. Let's check in with Mark, who's got your HD forecast from Lintron. And shaping up to be a nice day, Mark. It's going to be a beautiful day. First, let, let's get right to the satellite and show you. We do have a few clouds out there. It, it's going to be a nice start to the day. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, we're at Lintron in the West Plains over here off the Medical Lake exit. And, and they're a custom manufacturer of small parts. So you can come over here and, I mean, you can see they've got big pieces, all right? And they have bigger pieces they make. But it's these 
if you've ever had to adjust your eyeglasses or small pieces into computers, you stare at that, you go cross-eyed. Machines actually make that, CNC machines. We are going to talk more about that and show you some of the machines in process as we talk about an employer with 80 employees that's doing rather well this year. We'll have more coming up. All right, sounds good, Mark. Thanks a lot. All right, coming up, uh, there is uh, light industrial oil everywhere because that's what it takes to make these parts. We're at Lintron Manufacturing Monday here on Good Morning Northwest. All right, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great start to the day. Manufacturing Monday. And we are showing, we're at Lintron, by the way. And here, I'm going to, can I walk up here? I just want to show you this. Have you ever had to get the batteries out of a, a toy and you had to do the little screw in the back to get it off? That could be one of these parts. It can also be used in computers. It's brass. This is what they do. Now, let's take a look at the forecast and show you more of what they do here as uh, we continue to investigate Manufacturing Monday. So, Here's the deal. Out here in the West Plains, and there's the CNC machines. Well, that's number 17 there. Everywhere you see a green light, an operation is going in which a part is being made. But every machine is different. So the machine uh, over here is making that part. You can see there where it's been uh, um, cut and then also uh, tapped. All right, so we've got that. Over here, it's making, again, another small screw that would go usually into computers or uh, dentistry office, anywhere there's small equipment. It's over at this machine that there's really something interesting happening. Even though it looks much like every other machine, this is made of a compound that is the same as razor blades. It's stainless steel. This has to uh, withstand a lot of uh, not only temperature, but also a lot of tension. It's got a big slot for the screwdriver, and so this is going to hold something, probably along a circuit board. A lot of times, they're not even sure what it is, but I can tell you this, they're putting them out by the millions every year. So, everything is caught in here. The light industrial oil is caught in these bins and down below, and it's all recycled. That's been a program in the last couple of years. We're going to have more. We're moving to the other side. We're going to get to the big boys uh, on the uh, rollers. We've got that coming up here on Manufacturing Monday on Good Morning Northwest. All right. Thanks so much.